guys um, back with another video for you gamers um, was playing Xbox the other day and I had a problem with my NAT um, you know <clears throat> basically it was a, a, a router issue it was a, a network issue I couldn't join lobbies things like that so I'm going to show you how to forward ports on your router so that you'll be able to play online without hassle you can put your router um, sorry put your Xbox into a thing called a DMZ um, demilitarized zone I believe it, it stands for but you don't want to do that bad security to be putting it into the DMZ just forward ports guys um, that's all you have to do I'm going to make a video now um, kind of showing you guys what it's all about what to do hope it helps um, any questions you know down below okay so to start you're going to need to log into your router <clears throat> best way to do this is open a command prompt like that cmd or however you want to do it and this is ipconfig oh hit enter in there and there you're going to see your details there you go okay so you can see here my default gateway 192.168.0.1 also my DHCP 01 my DNS 01 so you can see all that there okay so for me look in your address bar put that address in 192.168.0.1 Right, and you do your address. That gets you to your router page. Now you're going to have to log in. Um, you'll have a, a password and, and stuff. It'll be on the back of your router box if you don't know it. That gets you in, gets you into your devices and all that. Now, you're going to need to give your Xbox a um, <coughs> static IP. <coughs> the way you do that, this is a sky hub but you want to go over and you uh, in mine it's LAN IP setup now in here I can go down and every device that's been attached to my um, thing to my router I, I've give them an address so here's my Xbox here see that I've give that an address of 192.168.099 you go ahead and give it an address of something like that you can see it's got to be between these addresses here this one and this one somewhere in between there and there so give it an address I, I would give it something like that that you can remember 192.168.099 <coughs> and the reason we give it that is to do the rules it needs a static IP once that's done, go ahead and hit apply. It may reboot, it may not. After that, you're going to need to go into the security. You're going to need to go into the firewall, well, the services first. To open ports, you do this. These are the ports you must open for Xbox. I've got no services at the moment. First, I need to add new service. I'm just going to call this. Xbox One, XB One. Now you need to open UDP and TCP both on port 53. So you enter that in there. Okay. Apply. Alright. Next one, add another service. Call this Xbox Two if you like. This one's going to be UDP only on 88 add, add that your next one and final one 
is going to be TCP and UDP port 3074. Apply that. Oh, hang on. Name service can be. Sorry, I didn't put name service in. But there you go. Add that. So now you can see I've added the three ports or port entries that need opening. Okay, it's actually five ports two there, one there, and two there because they're TCP and UDP. Anyway, they're rules. Now, to get them to work, you've got to their service you've got to give the firewall the rules so you've got your firewall outbound services and inbound services now obviously you know you're gonna have to look at this your outbound services enabled and they're always allowed can you see that they're always allowed but your inbound services they are not allowed they're always blocked so you add an inbound service Right, here's where you just go down and you should see your there they are there's number one which is your 53 port yeah and that's TCP and UDP you're always gonna want that right now this is where I get wrong don't put your IP address in put the Xbox's IP address in um, one users you can make it just for yours or just make it for any so that's the first one there add your second one which you notice on the drop down you can see there's some pre-made this would open every port can you see those two they open every port but you want you've got you want your Xbox 2 you want to always allow it I'm just filling these in now. I don't really need to do these for you. You've seen them, but same again, same again, same old, same old. Last one, bang down there, bang down there. Um, now I'll start talking to you about what you do now. You're after you've done all those, you've put them into your firewall. So you've done the firewall rules there. Um, you've done the services. To get the firewall, reboot your router. What I want to talk to you now is lot, uh, um, get your Xbox, <clears throat> go to the settings, go to the network settings. And what I've done, I've actually put the IP address in my Xbox. Um, I filled it in. You know, the IP address which you've seen me give is static 192.168.099. I filled that in on the Xbox. Then for gateway, I put 255.255.255.0. And for DNS, 192.168.0.1. But I believe I've been told that in the Xbox, you can actually leave the network settings default to auto, if you wish. But if you wish to fill them in um, manually, just give your static IP address. to, And then, you know, the other settings, um, which were on your... Um, when you did command and you put IP config all, you can see them there on that page. And that should work. Any questions, you know, just let me know. Alright, thanks. Bye.